Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back to another video on the channel. Another week of Premier League predictions. This week is for match day eight. But before we get into it, as always, we're gonna run through last week's prediction. If you guys, you know, wanna go back and look at what I predicted before the games happened, go ahead. You know that it's obviously nothing to hide. You know. Literally, I did this last week as well. Firstly, um, before we go in, uh, if you guys know how the predictions works, I get 0 0.5 points for every team that I get correct to win or lose. If I get the correct scoreline correct, I get 1 point. And secondly, even though I did not include it in the video, I did put it in the comment section of my predictions last week of the game between Luton Town and Burnley, um, which I don't think I put down here, but let me go over to that video of mine. Um, I went with a 1-1 one, one draw, so yeah, it's definitely there, but let's get into it. Starting off last week. Aston Villa against Brighton. I had an absolute shocker. I knew that it was going to be one of those games where either teams would have won it. Um, I didn't want to go with a draw because that just didn't felt like a, a game that it was going to be a draw. I went with a 2-1 Brighton win and Aston Villa. I mean, absolute credit goes to Ollie Watkins, but Aston Villa, man, absolutely smashed Brighton 6-1 Never in any world I think anyone would have predicted that Manchester United At home against Crystal Palace I went with a 2-0 United win And Crystal Palace won 1-0 So it's been a terrible start for me so far Newcastle United against Burnley I predicted 4-0 I think it ended 2-0 So that's half a point Wolves Oh my god, I went with a Man City 4-1 win. I was like, it's so comfortable, it's going to be a Man City 4-1 win. It was Wolves 2, Man City 1. So, absolutely horrible. What a horrible week this week is, by the way. Bournemouth move against Arsenal. I went 3-1 Arsenal. I think it was 4 new Arsenal. So that's another half a point. West Ham against Sheffield United. I went 2 new West Ham. It was 2 new West Ham, so I get a point. So far, we are on two points if I'm not mistaken yep Everton against Luton Town I went 1-0 Everton I think it was 2-1 Luton Town if I'm not wrong um absolutely shocking Everton man you can't be losing at home against a team that are worse than you you just can't and you think about it going to this game Everton had the form Everton beat Brentford away to come into this game and to go on and lose to a team worse than them, absolutely shocking. Spurs, Liverpool, I went 1-1. One, one. It just felt like it was a draw written all of it. You know, of course, I think Liverpool got a bit unfortunate. 96 minutes, I could have gotten it right. And then it finished 2-1 to Spurs. Nottingham Forest against Brentford, I got this one correct again. I went 1-1. One, one. And it was one off. So let's have a po that's actually a point, sorry. So we're up to three points now. Lastly, Fulham against Chelsea. This was a game Chelsea had to win. I went one nil Chelsea. It was two nil Chelsea. So that's three and a half points for this week. Of course not as good as previous weeks. For the last two weeks for match day five and six I got five points. So we've kind of came down again. But it's all right, it's all right, it's okay. This week, let's hope that we can get back to better form, shall we? Starting off with Luton Town at Kenilworth Road against Spurs. Spurs coming to this game as one of two teams, along with Arsenal, that are still unbeaten in the Premier League. I'm gonna go Spurs to win this, of course. I'm gonna go Luton Town to score. But I'm going to go Spurs to score 3. So I'm going to go Luton Town 1, Spurs 3. 
It should be a comfortable Spurs win, but who knows? Of course, this is a Saturday lunch, 12:30 p.m. a.m. Wait, no, not a.m. That's midnight p.m. kickoff. Fulham against Sheffield United. Now Fulham at home against Chelsea last week lost two 0 conceded two goals within two minutes. Sheffield United, on the other hand, lost to West Ham two 0 away from home. So they're traveling away again. Fulham at home again. I'm gonna go with a one 0 Fulham win. I think it's gonna be a tight game, but Fulham should have this in the back. Again, Sheffield United need these points, need to get these wins. If they want to survive, which I doubt they can, but you know Sheffield United have to be picking up some points, and I would look at a game against Fulham as a game to pick up some points if I was hacking bottom, but it just doesn't seem likely at this moment of time. Um, of course, this week's match of the weeks there are actually three: Brighton hosting Liverpool, West Ham hosting Newcastle United, and Arsenal hosting Man City. So there are some interesting games this week, but let's continue. Burnley at Turf Moor against Chelsea. Now Burnley coming to this game, um, interestingly, um, because obviously they lost to Newcastle United, but then they beat Luton Town two one away from home at home against Chelsea, and we're gonna go with two one Chelsea win. I can see Burnley scoring. But I think Chelsea have to be winning these sort of games now. They're away from home, so it's going to be a bit of a tough game for them. But I don't see it being tough enough to stop them from getting three points. Chelsea to maybe mount themselves back into a top six, top seven challenge again. Who knows? Manchester United, I mean, horror show. They lost at home to Crystal Palace. They lost at home to Galatasaray. And now they're at home against Brentford. I'm gonna go Manchester United to draw one one. I don't see them losing, but with the current form, is it possible to say Manchester United will beat Brentford? Now I know Brentford coming to this sort of game, not at the best form as well. Of course, they got a draw away against Nottingham Forest, but before that, they've been on a bit of a losing streak. They lost at home to Everton, didn't they as well? So it's not looking particularly good. I think Brentford will be safe though. I think they will finish 13th, 14th at the end of the season. But on Manchester United, where are they going to be able to finish? What is the ambitions of Eric Ten Hag? What is the ambition of this football club? Because right now it seems that they're not really going to be able to make top four. So are they going to be able to settle for fifth or sixth, or will they want to settle for fifth or sixth? Because last season. Fourth place, no third place in the top four, and a Carabao Cup trophy as well. So they have to try to work themselves into at least a top four finish. But can they do it? Based on current form, I I see it hard for them. So I've gone for one one draw. Everton against Bournemouth. Is this going to be a fight for teams getting relegated? I don't know, but I'm going to go with a Bournemouth one nil win. I don't know why. I just see it. Everton absolutely shocking, but you know they played well against Brentford. They scored three goals, and then we thought that they would actually beat Luton Town, and then they lose at home to Luton Town. So home form at Goodison Park clearly isn't that good at the moment. So I'm gonna go with a bomb of one 0 win. A bit of a shocker. Crystal Palace, Nottingham Forest. I mean, it's a boring, boring game, isn't it? I'm gonna go two two, you know, who knows what could happen, but of course, Crystal Palace coming to this game with good form after beating Manchester United away, while Nottingham Forest managed to, you know, take a draw against Brentford at home. I'm gonna go two two, bit of a boring prediction, not gonna lie, um, but if I was to choose, I probably would choose Crystal Palace home form, just beating Manchester United as well. But Nottingham Forest do have players like, you know, Anthony Langer, Morgan Gibbs, White, um, Awane as well, um, Callum Hudson Odoi, Sangare. They've got some good players. That's why I'm gonna go with a draw. First game of the week that is absolutely 
incredible. It's a Sunday, um, 2 p.m. kickoff. It's going to be Brighton hosting Liverpool. Now, Brighton coming to this game after an absolute treasure from Aston Villa away from home. But it was at Villa Park. Brighton at home tend to be better. I'm going to go Brighton 1, Liverpool 2. I think it's going to be a tight game. But I think Liverpool will find themselves away. I felt like they were hard done by. Um, of course, I felt like they were robbed in the game against Spurs. Of course, you can't really say that it was Spurs who robbed Liverpool because realistically, I don't think Spurs did anything wrong on their part. I think it was more on the officiating and the referee that you know obviously made a major, major error. But I'm going to go Liverpool to redeem themselves with a win. West Ham against Newcastle United. Two teams coming into this game on very good form. Now, West Ham, obviously playing very, very well recently. Managed to beat Sheffield United at home. Newcastle United, however, were also able to beat Burnley at home. So, it looks like it's going to be a pretty even game. I think it's going to be a tight game. I'm going to go West Ham 1, Newcastle United 1. I don't think anything will separate this. Of course, I, I'm pretty sure last season, Newcastle United absolutely trashed West Ham. But, yeah. Next up, Wolves against Aston Villa. I mean, Wolves absolutely shocked everyone with that surprise win over Manchester City. And Aston Villa as well surprised everybody. Absolutely hammering Brighton. So, we're coming to this weekend with absolutely unpredictable results. I still think Wolves will go down. I still think Wolves will get relegated. I'm going to go Wolves 1, Aston Villa 4. Come on, Aston Villa. Of course, away-wise, against Liverpool, you know, they weren't great. And, you know, going, you know, away... Aston Villa aren't great, but I do think that going away to Wolves is not really as big as going away to Liverpool. So I'm going to go with a 4-1 Villa win. And the match of the week, of course, it's Arsenal, who should be title challengers against Manchester City, who should be Premier League winners. But yeah, Man City obviously lost last week to Wolves, while Arsenal beat Bournemouth away so it's going to be a fascinating game it is at the Emirates as well so it's benefit to Arsenal it's advantage Arsenal is it going to be advantageous I'm going to go Arsenal to lose this game by one goal Arsenal 2 Man City 3 I do think that Man City have just a bit too much quality in their team to just get this job done I think it will be tight I think it kind of depends on how serious Saka is out for you know but with a foot team, foot team, with a fully fit team, that's what I meant. Um, I, Arsenal can definitely challenge Man City. Now, Man City, um, I'm not sure if Rodri is still suspended. Of course, they've had a couple of injuries at the place as well. Have to rely on Erling Haaland, really, as their only main source. Of course, of course they've got Phil Foden, they've got Jack Grealish. But overall, I do think that Man City will get this over the line. But I think it will be tighter than a lot of people expected because last season. The two games they played, it was 3-1 to Man City and it was 4-1 to Man City. I don't think it will be like a 4-1, 5-1 win. I think it will be a win to Man City, but I do think it will be tighter than last season. But let me know where your thoughts are down below. Let me know your predictions. But I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Hit that like button if Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.